Hello, happy haulers. It's me again doing what we do. Yeah, I went to the Lakeshore store. Hobby Lobby. I'm just saying it like y'all know where I went. Well, you do because you're going to read <laughs> my description. But this is what I was looking for. I saw this on um, Butterfly Dreams with a Z. She's um, a new YouTube person that I saw doing a haul from Montgomery, Alabama. She's from Prattville. She lives in Montgomery. When I'm down in that area, like going home, because I'm from Selma, Alabama, when I go toward that way, I try to go to those stores. She went to those stores and she got this bag. Now, this was probably at the Anderson store bag store when I went there to shop before I went to Atlanta last weekend for the original sewing quilting show. I stopped in Anderson and then I also visit one in um, Atlanta. I try to do more than one, but my husband have arranged, made appointment for uh, appointment reservations for dinner for us, and so I had to not go to one of the stores. <sighs> anyway, which was great. Okay, so this is a needlepoint tote. Now this probably was at the Anderson store. That's what I was trying to say before I went on the tangent. This was probably at the Anderson store, but because I didn't look at the bags, and I was like, oh, I don't want to look at the bags. I don't need those type of bags. So I didn't look at any of them. I should have gone through and looked because this bag is wonderful. It's um $26.99 originally, but it's $6.74. Like I said, I was looking at um, Butterfly Dreams. She does crochet. When I was looking at her, she showed the bag. And I, and I probably saw it. I could have gotten it. But what she showed is how it has these two sections here. It's a needlepoint bag. And then here in the center is this storage. In addition to this pocket here. And I mean, you can use this as your regular purse. And... Like I would probably take this on the day that I go to work, where I could take. I mean, I could almost take lunch in here. I could take an art or craft to do in there. I could take a book if I needed. This is not insulated, but with this lining, that's um. Some kind of nylon man-made fiber. It's it will hold it long enough for me to get to work. It takes me about 30 minutes to get to work. I used to take like a a um a little salad, those little pre-made salads that they have at Walmart, the round ones, and I take um a frozen dinner, and then I have my water. And I usually try to take at least two, if not three, bottles of water. I try I hope to try to drink three while I'm at work. Three at least three twenty ounces, but um sometimes I at least do two and maybe. Maybe I'll do like 50. A lot of us at work, we're always trying to drink water. So, um, but yeah, this bag, it will allow me to do a lot. And it looks like a Vera Bradley bag. <laughs> and as I've said before in videos, she made the name for these bags. She made a name for herself making quilted bags. But she was not the originator. I don't know who's the originator of a quilted bag. Maybe a pioneer woman. Not the pioneer woman that does the food stuff. But maybe some woman in the pioneer days did the um, quilted bags. But, you know, she's the person that we that I know that does those bags. And I was over in that session because I showed you all this but I got this in the binder. So it wasn't like I was over in that section. And so since I went over in that section again and looked, and I do like these kind of bags. I did end up getting this yarn and things. It was originally $4.99 and I got it for $1.24. So you know, like we say now, this is cheaper than the Dollar Tree. You buy a penny, <laughs> it's cheaper. But it's, it's a good bag. These bags are good. I try to keep them in our cars. Um, you know, keep some in each car so that when I go to Audi or somewhere I can um you know have a bag. I always forget and end up getting boxes but I, I the intent of mine is really great and good. Okay so these I, I shop everywhere in the store because look we know everything's being marked down. So these um are frames or you can say shadow boxes or you can say 
um, let's show the boxes because it still would be for a display. But they have in here, they call it a show box. And they're using it like, say, if you're a person who looks like they have gemstones, um, if you want to have like a butterfly, a bug collection, or something, or whatever collection. But it was originally $14.99, and I got it for $3.74. It's a 3 by 5 3.5 by 6, excuse me. Um, so it's been in there since 2014, it's saying. They have some other sizes. And you take it off, from what I understand, to see back here. But um, I got this size because I wasn't quite sure of what I want to display. Like, I do have some, I have a thimble collection. I have a beautiful thimble collection. Not like the ones I put in the other video where I didn't tell y'all the price of the thimble that I paid for. But I have some really, like, unique thimbles. Like, you know how you take a trip? You can get a mug. Well, I get a mug. You can get a spoon. I don't get spoons. But I get a thimble. And so, or shot glass, you know, that kind of stuff. Like a souvenir for your trip. So, with this here, you can use it, like I said, for collector's items. Or things that you want to display. Okay, I'm just always fascinated in trying to remember the thing behind this picture. This is um, an embroidery pattern. It was originally $4.99 and I got it for $1.24. And it's the little girl with the sunbonnet. And this one is called Sunbonnet Days, number 407 by Aunt Martha's and it's embroidery pattern. So they have, you know, the men day, the iron day. And that's what that's what I'm fascinated by. Monday is for reading. <laughs> that's what she's doing. Then what they usually have on there is Tuesday is for washing. Um but she's got Mondays for reading. <laughs> Tuesday is for playing with Jacks. Hey, she's doing it different. Wednesday is for watering the plants. Thursday is for watching the birds sing. Friday, hey, she has a little teddy bear. Saturday is a rainy day. She's dancing in the rain. Sunday, she's having tea. So, but they are giving you the option where she has a wash day you know that's that's where it was wash day bake day rest day i don't know if i can show you all these copyright infringement shop day clean day iron day men day and normally like you would put them either on pillows tote bags um tea towels or as they said flower sack towels but you know napkins towels those things that you would have in the kitchen. I don't know which way to go. I'm so excited. Alright. I think I'm mixing up stores because I, I, I stopped at I stopped at the trustful store before I went just in case they had marked some things down that I wanted. And uh, so I don't I'm getting a little confused between the containers. But this is on the play side creations. I didn't see these before, but I saw them today. They're 74 cents. But I was like, you know what? This will be cute. Because I like little doll faces and stuff. And I don't know. I'll probably decorate the faces and um, put them on some clothes and stuff like that. Just one more thing to play with. I got the Create What You Love book that was originally five ninety nine, and I got it for a dollar forty nine cents. Okay, so latch hook. This is um a bon um hummingbird. Why did I have that lapse there? I don't know, and it would have told me here if I looked somewhere. But well, this is um a latch kit kit is thirty one and ninety nine originally and I got it for five dollars and twenty four cents. And it includes the pre cut yarn 
it um, has a full color printed canvas and easy to follow instructions. Um, and you can finish as a wall hanging or a pillow or a purse. Because I like to finish most things like this as a purse. They've had a bunch of them at the stores while we've been hauling. But I didn't see this pattern. I don't know if it's because somebody got this pattern at the other stores. But I actually found this at our Lakeshore stores. I saw some other ones at the store. You know, I may have seen it and maybe I just didn't like the colors. <laughs> and I can always change the colors out. So that could have been what it was. But I know how to change the colors out. So I don't know why I wouldn't just get it. I think I'm the queen of everything. I'm the queen of lash hook. I'm the queen of pearl beads. I'm the queen of crochet. I'm the queen of diamond dots. And they have these on sale. These are latch hook um, canvases. The um, the rug canvas basically that, like they said, the base for those. The reason I got these, which are $12.99, but they were $3.24. And what I, um, is because I want to do some of my designs and do a latch hook. And so I got these so that I can play extra instead of using somebody else's design where they're doing all these wolves and bears and tigers and lions or whatever they're doing that's not like hummingbirds and flowers and lipsticks and glosses and stuff. I want to do that kind of stuff. So I got these and I'm going to play and hopefully I'll be able to show you all some of the things that I'm going to play. Now another thing I want to explain to you on what I do Okay, this was $12.99, and now it's $3.24. So my rationale when shopping is, first, I always try to be kind to of others. I don't try to take everything. Now, if it's one thing left, I'm getting that one thing. But if I can leave something, I always try to leave something so somebody else can get a thing. But, because I have a lot of stuff, but I don't have a lot of these, but I have a lot of stuff. But my other rationale is, I at least for whatever the sale price will buy up to that price in the items because if I would have paid twelve ninety nine would it be in three dollars and twenty four cents I would have bought actually another one because it would have taken me to that twelve ninety nine if they had had another but they're pulling stuff out of the woodwork now so we can all get everything and like I said we have so many well we don't we have a lot of stores here so um, a lot of stores will have this. Trust was the last one to get the mark down. Now I saw somebody that had these, and I was like, "Oh, I gotta get those." But it took a while to get them because I didn't see them anywhere for the longest in the stores that I've gone to, or they weren't marked down. This is three dollars and twenty-nine cents, and it is eighty-two cents. Wow. But that's cute, right? They got the cup yarn looking like a cupcake, a donut looking like a don't don't. <laughs> oh, a cupcake! That must be a cinnamon roll. And then this is a macaron. My children, they love that. Um, they show you something that I love, so I got it's over in that same section with the needlepoint, a puzzle with yarn. It was seven ninety nine, and I got it for a dollar ninety nine. And I love puzzles. I haven't shown my puzzle collection. And sometimes I think it's a trash. People be like, really? You got that many puzzles? And then I looked at this one lady's um, her video of her house, her craft room, and she had so many puzzles in addition to yarn and all kinds of stuff until I was like, okay, I can show mine. I can show mine. I'm not going to show it today, but I can, one day. Now, I was shopping so hard. You know, I bought this twice. I I could I wasn't sure, so I was like, get it just in case. I'm trying to get the glare off. So this is um that gold collection that was forty four ninety nine and went down to eight dollars and twenty four cents with the yarn organizer. And I'm thinking I still didn't do any research to see, but I'm thinking that this is a Thomas Kincaid joint because he's the drawer of lights and. So anyway, I, I showed this in the other video. Yeah. So it doesn't say anything about him now. I mean, because people do copies. I don't try to buy 
puppy cat and stuff. But, you know, sometimes it happens. Okay. I haven't started doing needlepoint. I wonder did I do this in a video. I was thinking maybe I showed you all this. And if I did, my apologies. But it has some needle in there to make this little dog. It was originally $13.99 and I got it for $2.24. So at some point I'm going to try it out. And then I got these bases here. These are um, where, where you can do other designs. And um, they're the molds. And they got butterflies. Um, I'll do that. I wouldn't do dragonfly. Um, ladybugs and stuff like that. Hearts on the back. And... But I got a needle and I got, well, I got some yarn. And I'm, it was on some of those colors. And I was like, I know I'm going to get around to doing that. I know I'm going to get around to doing it. So just go on and get them. I got one happy anniversary. My husband and I, we're going to celebrate our 21st anniversary. I think I said 31st. But my cousin is celebrating her 31st wedding anniversary today. 31st. I remember when we were little girls running around in the woods and talking about being married 31 years and me 21. Because it took me longer to decide to do it than she did. Alright, so I got some crochet needles. Because why not? Of course I did. These were $5.99 and I got them for $1.49. And I like the little colors. I like girly colors. Like, like, like. I got this, but I said I might have more people at the party, so I need to get another one. This is the Empress Art. Well, I call it Empress Art, but it might be Empress Art. But I'm country, and country folks always draw out every syllable and say Empress Art. So I figured I'd go and try to be like a city girl and say Empress Art. <laughs> so it was um, on sale for two forty nine. I don't see the original pricing for it. But it gets six pieces, and you stamp it, and... Um, it has the rings and they put it on their glasses. That's what it is, a drink marker. And so, like I said, um, I don't know. I don't drink for real. <laughs> but, you know, people, I like to still, I like to drink apple juice and, and stuff like that out of, um, out of a wine glass. Okay, so this bracelet was $7.99 and I got it for $1.99. And it's from the Hello Happy stuff. You know, a lot of that has gone on sale. Um, the best is yet to come. That's what it says. And in the thimble section, I got this was seven forty nine, and I actually bought these for a dollar eighty seven cents. So remember, I told you I bought a, a thimble at the original sewing and quilting show. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, um, I'm going to have to show you all. Y'all have lost the thimble. But I'm going to show y'all that thimble. When I find it, I lost the thimble. I put it somewhere so I remember where it was. And I forgot what I did with it. Let me show you something that I did buy. That I'm gonna do. I can't wait to do a video so I got to tell you. I got this, this clasp is for a purse and you can use um, one part on one end, one part on the other end and it has a magnet and it makes a fold. I just went on and bought it from this company, it's so deja vu. And I'm showing this stuff before I actually do that video. And then I got this from So Deja Vu at the original Sony Kitchen show that I need to do a video. I got these. This is the price. I like these kind of things. Um, yeah. What do they call them? I mean, I know they can be charms. I know they can be um, keychains, enamels. Did I show y'all that I got this here cable knitting needle set? It was five forty nine, and I got it for a dollar and forty nine cents. Did I show y'all that I got this um, scroll set? It's for a lap frame. I mean, another one. I'm trying. I'm trying to find a good one. It was $7.99. I got it for $4.99. I'm trying 
to make these work. And like I said, it may be that I'm trying to make them work for like say latch hooks also and not just for needle point stuff until maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Okay, I got these because they are soft and you know, I can always make a scarf. I don't normally make scarves. Usually everything I make is a purple or some a purse or something I can wear. But a scarf is something I can wear. And so these colors this color I like. But I have stuff in, in these other colors, so I can um make it work. You know my professional wear. And then I got two of these. Two won't get you too far, but it'll let you make a scarf. But I just like the colors, and I kept thinking, like, man, this is like some kind of drink. Like, okay, like punch, because I don't drink drink. But these were originally $15.99. I got these for $3.99. And I didn't even tell y'all the price on the other one. But y'all saw them in the store. Well, some of you did, some of you may not have. This was $7.99. I got it for a dollar ninety-nine from the yarn baby. Now I was watching, I can't remember whose video. Sorry, but I was gonna see if you all would wait and let these go to another price. But they were going out of the store so fast, so I had to go on and buy one. <laughs> I bought some of the other ones, but I was trying to wait on this. And this was fifty-nine ninety-nine, and I got it for fourteen dollars and ninety-nine cents. And the person that I watched the video, they did show in the video that which I didn't notice at first is that I'm actually getting three so when I went and looked I was like oh yeah I get three so if I get around to them I'll have three purses for 11, for 11 by 14 then I looked up here and it showed that you could put it on canvas and you can make a triptych um, painting art piece and I was like oh well, I didn't think of it in that way and that's a good thing that a person can do. I'm not saying I will or won't. And this is um, a, a card, a yarn card organizer. It is, is it, am I showing that the right way? No. It's um, $2.99 originally and I got it for $0.74. Cents. And there are three in there. And so, you can organize a lot of yarn, but at the same time not. Because it depends on how complicated your piece is. Now, I did get this size, but I haven't been able to get the other size yet. So, we still have gone to. does not have the ones with the purple, the smaller size. But this is um, the Entertainable Chunky Set. They were $19.99. I got them for $3.49. And I know I do remember seeing... Dang, I'm just looking at her video. Fairy Treasures. The lady from California. It's right behind here. Her video came up. And she got, um, she has all the yarn in the back. And, what's her name? You know my name. Fairy Treasures. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm sorry I'm not getting your name from California. But I do watch you, and sometimes I actually get a chance to watch you live when I'm at work. Well, sometimes I don't watch you, but I listen to you because I'm working. So I just, you know, how you like to have a little noise. And so, not, I just like to have you on in the background. Okay, so I also got this. This is, so you can see what I'm talking about. It's $3.99. It's in a needle art. It was reduced to 99 cents. And it is a needle hook oh gauge ruler you know just what I would have said <laughs> I would have been said it's a ruler with the needle gauge and basically there you go and it's knitting on it so it must be for knitting so if you don't remember your sizes which most of them are marked you can use that to compare here's another Hello Happy bracelet. They have this for sale $7.99 for $1.99. Uh, you know, I buy these because you never know when you're going to need a gift. Um, okay, let me confess. 
I see you all talking about gifts from people and and happy mail and projects. I I've been doing this for a minute, but I still don't understand <laughs> what's going on with that. I'm sorry, I just don't understand. Um I don't really understand how you all find the projects. Are you all in groups? I see some people do the Saturday morning and you hashtag and you do a project. And, and it's just, I'm like, there's some stuff here going on that I don't know. These people are really friends. Like, I feel like I'm friendly, but I don't know how to get in these groups. And the only one I did participate in was when Stay Stace had her birthday. And I was like, okay, I don't really know the gist of everything, but I know she wants me to make a card. Which I was like, oh, I'll send her a birthday card. So that wasn't the problem. It was like, make a card and do something else. So I, I made her a birthday card, the pop-up cake birthday card. And I made her some little purses. And put some little candy, like little candies and stuff that I like. Um, I mean, they wouldn't, you know, just little candies that I like. And, um, you know, she did show it. And, um... You know, everybody's like, well, it was old school candy. Like, I had those, remember the candy sticks when you used to smoke when we were little? But now they call them candy sticks. And it's, I didn't get them because they were cheap. I got them because I like them. But they, I can't go sell them at the dollar store. And they're deceptive, so you wouldn't see them. Because sometimes they're decorated like Spider-Man. They could be um, Scooby-Doo, I think was the ones that I had gotten at that time. Or that I was eating at that time. And so they might have different little things. So it may get past you, and they like just have two in the box. Now, I have some places in Selma that sell that old school with the cigarette arms. I can show them to you because I got them right upstairs. But I, you know, I don't know those. Okay, and I got this because I did see this on somebody's. And I'm not, you know, here nor there about a yama. But a yarn rules. And I always am looking for a tape measure. This one was $4.99 and I got it for $1.24. And sometimes I carry them in my purse. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I, you know, I would like to have an extra one to have in the car. So when I leave work and I'm going to some place and I need it, I can have it. I also saw this, and I don't know if I bought one already, but this was for a dollar forty nine when I got it. It was originally five ninety nine, and I can just put one of the chains because you know they got a lot of chains discounted too. And I can just put that on a chain and I can wear it or give it to someone. I did get these. They were in the needlepoint section. And some more stuff they got in there that hasn't gone on sale yet. Like, I, I don't know if I've seen this at some of the stores. But when I went to the Anderson store, I think that was one of the first stores that really did the markdowns. And it's probably because they're out there by themselves. And they don't have a lot of people bothering them so they can really get the job done. And so I go there because a lot of times they have stuff that I'm looking for. $4.99 was the original price of 74 cents. And I got it because I was like, look, it has a little needle point so I can, you know, get comfortable doing a project. And then it actually has a little stand. And when I saw that, because I was trying to peek and see, so I didn't tell you, see, just in case I wasn't going to get it. But it actually has a stand. And I really didn't tear it. <laughs> But it looks like that, and it has a stand that you can stand it up on. I was like, I have to take that to work and put it on my desk. But you know what I've decided while I'm saying that? I'm going to stop taking stuff to work and putting it on my desk. In fact, I'm getting ready to start taking stuff from my desk and bring it home. Because thank the Lord, I have been getting promoted enough that I haven't even put, um, what they call it when you put your your name and your job title and all that stuff on there. I don't even put that on there because I've been in training and da 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 And I'm trying to get another job right now and get in training. And I already put out for two that I haven't heard anything from. And it might be uh, probably next month. I might be changing jobs again. But all the same, I saw that <laughs> and I bought that. I was like, look at her and her, her glorious hair. It's it, it looked like it's half unicorn, half mermaid. But at first I was like, oh, it's just her hair. But I think it's a mermaid. A unimaid or whatever. Then I got these. This one is a necklace. Or chain. To make a necklace. And these. These are killer quilts. Oh, here's another. 
this is what I would use it for. It was originally $9.99 and it's 2 dollars But I would take these, you know, apart and then fill a bead or something in between this same thing. Fill it in between just to extend it. Be it a necklace or, 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 I mean, you can extend the earrings, just whatever. Put a bead or something in there and just let it work. Okay, and I got some. Oh, wow. I got a heart that came off of something. And I think I know what it is. It's one of those little jewelry sets. Well, of course, it's a heart. You see that? I'm sorry. I don't mean to. That's me saying to myself, not you. But of course, that's what it is. Okay, this is. Um, Embroidery needles, seven dollars and ninety nine cents, and I got them for forty nine cents. This will go back here. I'm in. I'm down in the basement. You can probably see there's basement stuff. It's, there's a treadmill over there, and a bike, and some stuff over there. And then these are some needles also. These are cruel needles, but I get them because I never know where my crafting ideas will go to next. They were four forty nine, and I got them for a dollar and twelve cents. So, if you're a person who cruels, um, they have my sale. And these also, there's a place for them. I can't tell you which drawer. And no, I haven't labeled them. A lot of people probably will say they need to label them, but I wouldn't because one, I know that's elastic now. I um, like for pants and skirts and that type of thing. Now, what size? I don't know. But I know it's like maybe a fourth of an inch. Then that sticker maybe like a one inch. That's that. Zipper. See, I mean, I recognize what I got. Um, those are those rotor wheels where you mark your patterns and stuff. And um, buttons that you make. So, that kind of thing. So, I don't. You know, I don't need to mark it. I, I see what's in there. I know what they are. And this is old. I've had that for years, years, years. Um, this is where that's going to go. This is a soap dish. Now, this is new to me. but um, And I haven't made soap. But I hope to at some point. That's um, Hobby Lobby Hall from a time ago. It's a bank, but it's shaped like thread. Um... Uh, I probably got that from Hobby Lobby. I got that from Hobby Lobby. I can't even remember what's in there. This, I'm going to have to show y'all this card. Because <laughs> a lot of us bought this card. I wish I had it. I wasn't intending to talk about what's back here. But, um, a lot of us bought this card. And it looks like it's for Valentine's Day, but it's actually for Christmas. Remember? Oh, no, these were Michael's. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to smile now. But this was... And I got the makeup thing back there. I'm gonna show y'all this. I made the card, but I didn't do a video of it. But I'll talk, um, talk us through it. Oh, 33 minutes and 18 seconds. Um, well, I threw everything down here on the floor. Now I gotta figure my way out of here. I gotta put it all back in the bags. So that's it for now. But you know, I have so many things that I haven't shown you all. And I'm going to try to get better about doing demos of the things that I've done. Because, um, like this, um, it's a card set that we, a lot of us bought, because I've seen you all videos <laughs> that you have it. And it's, um, it's one of those, you know, it will fold down. To go in an envelope but the thing about it also is what I think this does is you know the tunnel cards this is a good demo to show you how you can make your own original um, cards and the reason why I hadn't shown it, I was thinking I wanted to do some more flowers that's kind of how they showed it I kind of want to do some more flowers and I kind of wanted to jazz them up a little bit and um but I haven't so maybe I'll get around to it and then we'll jazz it up when I um, show you all what I did with the uh, actual dot. So, 
I got to go and clean up the stuff that I put on the floor and start a project. Hopefully, I can get it set up with my camera that I can put around my neck or my iPad. It'll be magnified a lot if I use my iPad because for some reason, the way they have it now, it's magnified and I don't know how to get it down from that magnification. So, with that, I'll be seeing you soon. And who knows what the video will be about. Probably a haul. Because they got some more stuff that they're going to be marking down. Oh, and I'm going to go to a Tandy Leather tomorrow for a class. So, I forgot what it is. But I'll probably be updating you on what we did in the class. So, talk to you later.